Good morning. I'm trying to get set up here. It takes a minute. Okay, there we are. And I want to see if I have when I have comments. So I've got my iPad over here. Looking at my iPad. Okay, so today is Friday. Happy Friday. I hope that you have big plans today and that you're um, looking forward to something for the weekend. I do not have big plans. I have a doctor's appointment in a little bit. Going to lunch with my daughter. Um, what else am I doing? I don't have big plans this weekend. So hi Melissa. I'm going to come see you I think. I got to tell you something. I was told, anyway, we'll, we'll talk about it, but um, I'm glad you're here. So I'm going to show how to decorate embroidery hoops today. I have been working in my sewing room, completely cleaning everything. You cannot see it yet, <laughs> but um, coming to Melissa's. Yes, I'm coming to Melissa's after um, my doctor's appointment. So you're going to hear, hi Jenny, you're going to hear my dogs now and then barking because they're my guard dogs and that's what they do. But anyway, so uh, my friend Jenny just came and she hung these for me. Um, they're thread holders and I haven't filled them yet because I was going to work up here and I don't want that to get in my way. Hang on just a second. Okay, did I lose anybody? <laughs> All right, I had to go get my pet protector, pet corrector spray because my dogs keep barking. And so I'm gonna have to, I may have to step out for a second. I know it's clean, Melissa, look at that. I know, I know, I know, I'm loving it. But, you know, after I decorate this, then this stuff's gonna come back, but it's still gonna look really good. And I will show y'all and we'll take pictures and I'll post it because it may never look like that again, but um, I will be so excited. I'm trying to figure out how to get the best lighting. I don't know. I can't see with or without my glasses. I mean, that's better for me, but that's better for the project. Okay, we're going to get started. So, I am going to decorate these hoops. I've had these hoops for... Um, at least two years. They've been in my closet. I just, I mean, I've always had plans of doing this, but I, I just, it never happened. And I never thought, I never realized where I would put them. And anyway, so today it finally, it finally is happening. This is something I had done two years ago, at least. My neighbor um, embroidered this fabric, um, embroidered my D and established in 1994 because we're the Darty family. Okay, my phone just rang and I stopped it. I hope I hope we're still on. Are we still on? Can y'all just give me a thumbs up or something? Heart, something. We're still on here. Are we still live? Thank you. Okay, so my neighbor embroidered this for me. And I was saying that uh, some people don't know how to say my last name. So this is how I um, teach them. Darty. Party. Party Darty. Because it, it's spelled really weird and nobody can say it. So anyway, the, so this is was like my first inspiration to to use somewhere. So there I have that. One thing I like about this is it's uh, got a little bit of dimension. So um, I like that. My main original thing was just to put fabric in them. And this is a quilted piece that I put together. I got to go. Hang on. Don't worry, it's just air. Okay, so I love the quilted pieces. And this is one of my favorites. I don't know, I just bought it because I liked it and I've never had a plan for it. But this is so cool, I love it. It's kind of like a comic book. I'm not really necessarily a comic book person, but it's got sayings about sewing on it. So cute, um, real retro looking. And so I've gotta find what part I like the best. There's a part with a sewing machine I think I may, let me see, um, I may put in the hoop. Can you see that? Hi from Ohio. Hi Sherry. So what do you think? I think that's so cute. All these need ironing. My ironing board is out in the hallway so it probably won't get ironed while we're here. I'll probably have to do that after. So anyway, I'm just getting, um, 
set up to decorate these hoops if you just join me. Here's some different examples of things I could put up here and I'm using fabric to put some of them on. What I really, really want to do is not just do all fabric. I know my fabric is so cute. I love it so much. Um, and I have some other cute fabrics that I've kind of collected and I didn't know. Okay, Jenny, we'll see you. Watch me later. <laughs> um, here's some other cute fabrics. Now I don't make clothes, but I love, I love anything that has to do with making clothes because my mom made all my clothes and it just reminds me of my childhood. I just, I just love it. But here's another, this is some more fabric that I bought and I've had it forever, but I just thought it was so cute and I'm never going to make anything with it. So it's going to be perfect in here for my sewing room. Here is another one. I'm telling you, I'm obsessed with these. <laughs> I love that. I've got to figure out. Um, I also want to make sure when I put these on here, uh, I just had it. I just, nobody ever calls me. I just had, I just had somebody try to call me. Okay. Anyway, am I still here? Give me a thumbs up again. I'm sorry. So, so cute. I love this. Here's another one. For some reason, I love this. I have no idea why, but it's cute. Are y'all still there? Give me a heart, please, or a thumbs up. Still there? Here's another fabric. I'm gonna pretend like you are. I think you are. Okay. Um, it is like little girls. I don't know why. It just again, oh, thanks for the hearts. Okay. Um, I don't know why. I love this, but I just do. Isn't it cute? Wait. See, that's another thing. When I sew, I don't really like to buy directional fabric. If you don't know what that is, it's fabric that all goes the same way. Because say, let's say you made a bag, and it was like a continuous piece, then this would look good, but the back side would be upside down. So that's just a little tip. Okay, this is one of my favorites too. This is something that I, I can't wait to teach a class on. But this is recipes that my grandma wrote years and years ago. And I made copies of it and made it into fabric. And so I think, I'm not sure, it's not, I don't know. I like a lot of color and this isn't a lot of color, but it's really special. So I may hang that up there. What I've done here is I've already kind of placed it. You know, it's hard to place and I can move stuff around. And what I, just so I didn't damage my walls or anything, this is just a pen, like a, just a sewing pen, just a straight pen. And I just barely stuck it in the wall so I could kind of arrange it. I did not want it symmetrical. I wanted it kind of, you know, off. Well, anyway, that's not gonna touch each other, but it's, um, I just kind of wanted it a little off centered. Did I show you this? These are punch needle projects that I've done. I also love to add something like that so it'll have texture. Um, I guess I don't have any, oh, I have this. So see how these, it's just gonna be a smorgasbord. To me, everything goes, <laughs> almost everything goes. Um, so what I need today to work on this project, I need hoops, of course. I need my different fabrics. I need um, a hot glue gun because I'm going to I know I had another one. Oh, I'm gonna glue the inside around the corners to make it nice and flat. And I have a trick for putting fabric in the hoop because it is not easy. Um, and I have, well right now I have pins for that. I'm gonna need a hammer and nails that I did not get before we started. And I guess, I guess that's, I guess that's it, I think. I'm not sure. If you're new, if you just popped in here, go ahead and say hi and tell us where you're from. All right, so my fabric. I wish I could, I wish I could hold it up here for you to look at with me. I mean, I can hold it, but I'm, my hand's gonna be in the way. Let's try this. Okay, can you, can you read that enough to see the different sayings? I don't know if you can. Let me see. They're so cute. Okay, I'll just read you some of them. All right, so this says, um, home sewing is easy and helps keep the home fires burning. Honey, you look tops and there's extra money in the budget thanks to my new sewing machine know-how. <laughs> uh, what a stunning blouse, but I bet those tucks were awfully tricky to make. Not at all. And it's the dress make making touches like that, like tucks that gives a garment that million dollar look. So I love this, it's so cute. I mean, I feel like I could just use every every little saying, but my favorite one, the way it looks is the, where'd it go? 
sewing machine one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move you over here, so you can be by my workspace and see more um, close up. I think that'll be better. So hopefully we'll see. All right. Can you see better? There's my floor. As long as you can see this area, I think we're good. Okay, I'm gonna sit down and show you. You know, I'm doing this with you <laughs> alongside of you, so uh, you're gonna you're gonna be able to think with me. You might have some opinions too. Oh, I don't know if I said I need scissors, but I need scissors. Okay, so if you just joined me, we are putting, we're decorating embroidery hoops. All right, this is Punch Needle. I've already had these done. I, I wanna hang them up because they're cute decorations. This one's embroidery. And then now I'm going to cut this piece to fit this hoop. What you wanna do is lay out your fabric First. And then you kind of want to, sorry, I'm trying to get organized here. It's hard to be creatively organized. It just is. Okay. So isn't that so cute? I just love it. Just love it. It's hard to cut up too, because you don't want to cut it up. But don't you like that where it looks like it's got a title and then it's got sewing machine and this is my sewing room. Some of these other ones are cute, but I, I just, I think this is, this is what you would want for a sewing room. Now there's different ways you can do this. <laughs> You're going to, you, you would probably don't like the way I, I like to do stuff, but I'm going to show you anyway. Instead of drawing around it. Okay. I recommend drawing around it. Don't do what I do. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to cut it up here and I want to leave some space around it so I can wrap it around. Again, you could draw the circle. How many of you would do it like this? Anybody? I have no idea where I got this fabric. I have no idea. I've had it for so long. I guess I could tell y'all what the selvage is called though. What the name. Okay, it says the Alexander Henry Fabric Collection. Yeah. Alexander Henry Collection. So now that I have this cut. This was another one I was going to do, but I don't know. That probably won't make it. To the wall. Okay, so you need to have two pieces. Here's my two pieces. You would do it like that. Okay, good, Lynette. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. It's, it's too much time to measure. He's got time for that. Again, I would iron this if I weren't, um, if my ironing board was handy. Here's the trick on putting something on an embroidery hoop. First, you want to, or let me, let me make sure I'm saying this right. Okay. I'll probably do it and then be like, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> you want to get it centered. So you just kind of play with it. And, you know, this hoop will move around. So that's kind of nice. Hi, Amanda. And I'm gonna squeeze this over. Because I'm right handed, it'll be easier like this. Okay. It's the, to me, embroidery hoops, you think, how hard can that be? But it is not easy. Sometimes it's just, you know, when you first put it on, it's kind of usually wobbly. Wobbly. The fabric's just not flat in there. 
or it seems like it is at first, but then it starts getting really loose. So what you have to do is you want to start tightening it. Don't you think that looks pretty good and centered? That's just so cute. I love it so much. Okay, can't wait for it to hang in here. It'll make me want to, you know, come sewing. So I'm twisting this. I want to get it pretty tight, but um, so you want it taut, and this is not taut. You sh it should sound like a tighter drum. See how loose that is? I don't know if you can tell. Okay, so what I always thought you did is you just pull around like this, which you can, but the best way to do it is to pull up, which you wouldn't think you would do that, but you do. You pull it up. Take this tag off. If you're hopping on, say hi. Tell us where you're from. Okay, so if you have it on the back side, you're just going to pull down, which is the opposite of what I used to do. So when you pull it down, it's getting a lot tighter in here. See how that's working? If I get it tight enough, maybe I won't have to iron it. <laughs> okay, again, to make it tight or taut, drum tight is what we're looking for, is to pull this down. Instead of this way where naturally, I've always thought it was a way to do it, you pull this down like this. This is my biggest hoop, so it's gonna take the longest to do, but let's see, did it pull it? It's better, it's better. I don't see the wrinkles like I did before. <laughs> so a cute idea for a small ironing board for the craft room. Layer batting on it. You know what, look, 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 look. I have one, I have one. Let me see if I can show you. Okay, look. There's mine. Can you see it? It's a TV tray. Isn't it fun? And then um, I do have a mini iron. See, I, you're reminding me of what I have and what I need to get out. I forgot I had that. So here's a mini iron, and here is a, a mini, I mean, a what do you call it? I don't have words today. I almost hit my foot. Okay, there's that. Iron, little mini iron and I hope I didn't flash y'all, did I? All right. <laughs> so we're just getting this put in the hoop. Love my, love my fabric that I've had more than two years. I've had this longer than I had all the hoops and stuff. I just didn't know what I was going to do with it. And I'm just pulling the fabric down. Yeah, I'm glad you could remind me too. Where are you when I need you before I start? <laughs> all right. Just pulling it around, and then when you get it really tight and you're happy with it, this will, the wooden hoops just loosen up really, really quickly and easily, and so, oh, this is looking good. So, you gotta tighten it when you can. When you're working with embroidery hoops, like for punch needle or embroidery, anything like that, am I, am I upside down, am I okay? Can y'all see okay? Give me a thumbs up if you can see okay down here okay I'm gonna go ahead and trim off a little bit I want to have just enough to fold over and glue I don't need a, a ton thank you Lynette so I'm trimming around here I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug in my glue gun I just have to keep an eye on the time because I have a doctor's appointment. But I have just enough time to get going on this. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to have my friends join me because it's way more fun to do a craft with friends, right? <laughs> so I was talking earlier about, I'm, if you just jumped on here, I am decorating some embroidery hoops to hang on my wall right here in my sewing room. And here is one of the ones that I'm gonna hang. It's a cute little um, cartoon, what do you call them? What do you call that? I said it earlier, comic strip type of thing. 
very retro, fun. And then I have, here's an embroidered one. And then here's the punch needle. I'm just gonna randomly hang them up. The cool thing is I can, I can take them down. I mean, it, it's easy to replace them. Fabric isn't too expensive. Um, so if I don't like the way they look together, I'll just put something else in it. But I think it's fun to use different mediums and different textures. All right, so I'm, my heat gun's heating up. Y'all gotta see this heat, this blue gun holder. Check this out. Do you have one of these? So one of my best buddies made this for me. My verse of the year last year. Oh my gosh, it's so dusty. Little sidetrack here. Do y'all use Swiffer cloths to clean? See, I was going through my, oh, my sewing room was so dusty. It needed cleaning so bad. But anyway, um, so I love black and white. Love it, love it. I love a pop of that. And then um, this is metallic gold. And she did my favorite verse from last year, do not conform to the patterns of this world, Romans 12, 2. So that was really special last year. Not that it's not this year too, but um, anyway. And so she actually makes these to sell in her Etsy shop. If you're interested in that, just uh, send me a message and I'll let you know how to get one. But what you do is you put your glue gun holder in here. And I like, when I had a bigger one, my, my bigger one broke. I need another one because I really like it, but it fits on here perfectly. And I need to get a glue stick in here to get it going. Okay, got that. I think I'm gonna move it over here because my plug's over here. And you probably can see me better here. Okay, so pretty happy with that. It's a lot tighter. I think you can just go on and on and on and keep making it tighter. And then once you glue it down, you'll feel better about it. Cause it does, it does. They do slide out with the wood. So if you're, what I was saying a minute ago is if you're working with punch needle or something like that, um, this, I didn't work on this hoop for my punch needle project, but I, um, I cut it out and put it in here after. This is actually, I actually cut the whole bunny out and glued it on top of this fabric. So I punch needled the bunny. I cut the bunny out kind of like I cut this out and wrapped it around the back side of it and then attached it to here. Does that make sense? Clear as mud. <laughs> okay, now, but what, I'm sorry, what I was saying is when you work with and you're pushing down and pulling up like this punch needle or embroidery or anything, it's not ideal to use a wood hoop because they slide so much. It's a good idea to use like a Morgan slip hoop, non Morgan non slip hoop, something like that. And it has a lip and it's really awesome because it holds it into place. If y'all know anybody that would enjoy this video, send it to them so they can watch it with us. Okay, again, I've already put this in here. Um, had this done forever ago, never got it hung. It, it's, it's gotten looser. And so what I wanna do is, just like the other one, is pull down, pull down like this. So tell me what's going on today. I need someone to talk with me. Are y'all there? Tell me what your Friday looks like. I don't have a big, a big Friday today. Just doctor's appointment. I'm gonna cut this a little bit to get it out of my way. Thank you, Amanda. Okay, so I was thinking about some other things I could do live videos on because sometimes you're like, okay, what do I have to say? <laughs> and so, um, oh, last night I was thinking of some fun stuff. I, have y'all made pom-poms before? Cute little pom-poms. They're so popular. They're every day, everywhere. Hi, M your Monday. What, is Friday your Monday? You're cleaning your art studio. First day of summer break for your boys. Oh, the art studios never get clean enough, do they? And how are your, how are your boys? Are they so excited? Amanda's home with the kids too, not getting much done. You know what? That's okay because you're spending time with your kids and they're gonna grow up and then you're gonna be sad and you're gonna be like me going, what happened to my babies? What happened to my babies? But then, hey, there's some good days too. Well, mostly I love it <laughs> because they're independent and they're fun to talk to. Well, you know what I mean, teenagers, but they're fun. they're fun, they get your jokes, and you know, they can interact with you, and I don't know. But when they're little, it just, it just doesn't last long. I know you hear that, but it really doesn't. You're sealing a planner table that you painted and stenciled for your booth. 
and you're cleaning out. Let me see if it'll show me the rest. Your floral stash, not fun. Okay, that's what I've been doing is cleaning out my room. Um, if you're in Tyler, there's a sale at the Crafty Fox this uh, today and tomorrow, and I think it's today and tomorrow. Pretty sure, yeah. And um, I cleaned out my closets, my craft closets, to put stuff in there. So it feels so good. It feels so so good. And I have the sweetest friends in the entire world that came and helped me clean out my sewing room. And I, it just, it feels so good to purge. It feels so good when it's done. It's hard, but, oh, for, your, kid, your boys are 14 and 17. They'll be fresher and senior. <gasps> Freshman and senior. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. My daughter is 15. She's driving uh, me around. And I'm pretty much ready for her to get her license. It's, she's about five months, five months away, I think, from getting it. So how old are, are, are the rest of y'all's kids? So, Elizabeth, you know that um, that it's nice because they're more independent. I don't know if you have any attitude issues. I'm sure you don't. But um, it's just part of being a teenager. Oh, gosh, I already have a low battery. How'd that happen? I, I bet I have a charger in here somewhere. Somewhere. I bet I do. So I'm just pushing down these and making it taut. And that looks, that looks better. And then I'm going to glue this around. That doesn't look very centered to me. But what's what's throwing my eye? Uh, Cody Craft? I think it autocorrected. It's the uh, Foxy... The Foxy Craft? What is it called? I can't remember what it's called. But it's over there in Green Acre Shopping Center. And um, so you just got a bunch of stuff set up over there. And let me show my face. Um... The Crafty Fox, the Crafty Fox. <laughs> so she is um, in Green Acre Shopping Center by Little Caesars, and she has, I've never heard of the store until recently, and she has all these um, classes where she teaches sewing, and she teaches, um, I think there's painting, all kinds of classes, everything you can imagine. And um, you just sign up to go to the class, kind of like you would a pottery place or something. And it looks really cool. I haven't been to a class there, but it looks really cool. And I, so she's having a craft sale. So I went through my house, got a bunch of my craft stuff to get rid of. And that's where I found the, that's when I found the hoops that I'm, you know, was going to do a long time ago. But I took a bunch of stuff there. They're having a sale today and tomorrow. So go by there and just check it out. I mean, I think they're doing a giveaway on a tulip wreath too. So you don't have to buy anything. Just go by and check it out. All right. That, what's throwing me on this one is the chevron and I probably wouldn't do chevron if I were to do it today but since I had this done so many years ago I'm gonna go with it but I don't know if this is centered and where's a ruler do you ever just kind of make do with a ruler like you measure something I, I don't know I, I don't know let me see I think the words are centered I think it's just I mean, they could come down a little. I, I really think it's just the fabric that's not. So, oh, you don't have craft places in here. You know what's really cool that I like? I like that she's doing, um, it's the Crafty Fox. She's doing everything crafty. It's not just painting or, you know, just ceramics. Although I love those places too. But um, I love the idea of it not being like labeled as one place so i'm really happy for her i'm excited for her okay so i'm just gonna go with this one and i was waiting for my glue gun i think it's ready now and i'm gonna start oh let me get my glue gun stick this is my this is what this is what i use so i don't need a band-aid this is um this is a chopstick i use dowel rods all kinds of stuff and I hope this holds it good. So here's my glue gun. Here's my glue gun holder my friend made me. Isn't that cute? Here goes Oreo. I think it's easier to put it, put the glue um, on the hoop itself. It usually doesn't be, burn your finger as bad. And uh, I'm gonna see how hot this is and then I'm gonna use my stick if I need to. But I think this is a cool temp one. So I don't think I really need it. Ah, I lost the glue stick as bad as I I was worried about. Do you have a trick on not burning yourself with your glue gun and your glue gunning stuff? Can y'all see me? I don't know. Let me, let me move 
little bit over here. Thank you, Elizabeth. You love the hoop idea. It's, you know, it's really fun decorating. They're not expensive. That's what I like too, is I like that you can change it out. It's kind of like when you're decorating your house and you decide, hi, shorty. I haven't seen you since last time I did love. <laughs> um, anyway, um, let me focus here. Okay, so when you decorate and you um, like buy a new couch or something and you buy a couch that's like, say, Aztec or something. Glad I caught this. I plan to make a few for your class, uh, craft room. Yay, yay, that's great. Now, hopefully, I will show you the mistakes not to make. <laughs> um, but when you buy a couch and it's like this bright floral with, you know, it's just, it's just a pattern that you're going to have to live with for a long time. But if you end up getting an off-white couch or a neutral couch, then you can throw pops of color and it's not as expensive to change, you know, when you need to. Band-Aids and possible sticks. <laughs> Kathy, I know. This is awesome because it's a cool temp. I don't know that I've had a cool temp before. I never know what I have. But there's times I wish I had the hot one again. But I don't know. It died. It finally died. So here I am. You can see what I'm doing. It's not a beautiful back, but it's okay for me. If I were to make these to sell, I would put a pretty back on them. Um... Like this is, uh, and this one I, I actually would do better. Like I would have gotten more fabric under there, but you can put felt on here and this is fleece and it just finishes it off if you were gonna sell it to somebody. And again, I would, I'd make that more professional, but that was a, it's one of those learning curves, you know? All right, so now I'm gonna keep going around. Did I show y'all, did y'all see the fabric, other fabrics that I wanna use? I love these sewing fabrics. Are there fabric for, I, I guess the sewing room. They just remind me of my mom growing up because she always made my clothes, every bit of clothes for me. Isn't that cute? And this one, I just think that's cute. And it says Grace on it. It's really sweet. Okay. Um, keep on a truck in here. I'm ready to make another one. Which one should I do next? Should I do, you know, also kind of need to think when I'm hanging these up here. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the, what's going to be beside each other? You know, like, you got to keep that in mind when you're hanging stuff on the wall, is, especially in a, I got to show y'all my um, photo wall in my living room because it's, it's crazy. It's pictures everywhere. If you saw one of my, one of my videos, you can see it um, in passing when I'm walking around the room. Well, this says, the front of this says, established in 1994, and that's when I got married to my husband. We have been married 24 years this year. That's a long time, isn't it? Isn't it? How long have y'all been married? I feel like we're just now getting to know each other. <laughs> I'm just now finally like, you know what? I've always tried to change that. I mean, that's who he is. I need to just respect that and be, you know, be like, okay, 24 years, uh, it's not going to change. And it's not that it's anything bad. It's just not the way. We do things so opposite. Like, everything. If we're going to move a piece of furniture, I would, I'm more of a puzzle thinker, and, and he's not. Oh, look what I just did. See, that's what I do. I make the mistakes for you. Here, y'all probably saw this. Here's the top. <laughs> but since I just glued it down, can I just take it off and, oh, I hope it's not. I'm going to try. I love making the mistakes for you. So you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> All right. That was easy. Or so far, it's easy. I just want to get that centered really good. And when it's hanging on the wall, I can always go back and move it if I want to. If you're just joining me, um, I'm decorating embroidery hoops to hang on my wall. You want to get really tight too. Okay, so the next one. I'm going to do this size. And I got to think about my fabrics because if I did a little hoop for this one, you won't, you know, you won't see as much of the pattern. And so I think a bigger hoop is good for this one. Ooh, I'm not gonna have enough fabric. I might. That's another thing you gotta keep in mind. You want enough to make it wrap around. Oh, just enough. Yay! 
I should plug this iron in, shouldn't I? My friend Lynette on here said, oh, bye. Bye, Kathy. Come back and see the rest of it. Maybe you can see what it looks like later. Have a great weekend. Okay, I'm, I'm plugging in my iron. My little baby iron over here because you want your fabric good and straight before you start. Do y'all have any questions? All right. So I'm just gonna cut it enough where it'll wrap around. Like that. Let my little iron heat up. Woo, that was fast. Man, that was hot. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna iron it over here on this little board. This is a TV tray and a mini iron. There we go. That looks good. All right, you get something. This chair is so squeaky. And it's getting caught on my rug. Is that the right size? Yes. Okay. All right, so I'm just making sure that I've got enough to wrap around. And why does it not take long to make a mess? Doesn't take long at all. Okay, now. Put it like this. Line it up. This goes straight at the top. And I want to make sure that these are going straight as well. I have to loosen it just a tiny bit because it was already tight when I started. I'm right-handed so it's easier to put this on this side. How's that look? Looks pretty good. Pretty straight. I ended up ordering these online. I don't remember which place. One of those crafty places that you can buy stuff. But I bought a bunch of them. I'm really bad about that. Like, I can't just buy one thing. If I'm buying something like this, I think, oh, I'm gonna make a thousand of them and maybe I'll sell some. And, oh. and then the next thing you know, I don't even do anything with it. All right, I'm gonna trim around here. But I'm so excited I'm finally using these fabrics. So excited. And getting my room, make it, making it cute. Cause you know when you make your room cute, makes you wanna, it makes it not so bad to, um, work in it and you know if I had a really cute laundry room I might do laundry sometimes thank you Catherine yep I might do laundry sometimes if I had a cute laundry room <laughs> um, a cute kitchen you know it makes you just want to be in there or it makes it not so painful to be in there like like it would if it were drab Color makes me happy. How's that looking? You like that? Perfect for a sewing room. Even though I don't make clothes, it's just so cute. So cute. I gotta tell my mama that I've been thinking about her a lot. Okay, so now, again, I'm gonna trim around. Mm, I guess you want about an inch hangover. Not too much, because it gets bulky in there. And then I'm just gonna hot glue around it and press it down. This is so fun and easy. Fun and easy and easy to replace. Um, I was just thinking though, if you wanted to replace it, I guess you could just put either fabric over it or rip the fabric off the, with the glue, but easy to replace, easy to change out your decorations because you might be like, if you're like me, you know, what I like last year is not what I maybe like this year, except these cute fabrics, because I think they're kind of timeless. Um, because they're retro. The only thing that would probably um, change for me with liking them would be the colors, but I really like, and I don't have any rules in my sewing room, so it's not like there's a theme of color, because this is pink and that's red and it's all going to go to me. Okay, so again, you're going to pull in. You, you would think you'd pull down, but you're actually going to pull in. Can you see? Pull in. And I can't lift it up and do it or I would show you. 
I mean, I can give you a sample of what to do. Pull down, like, well, I guess I can do it right here. Another thing when you pull it down, you wanna make sure that it's, you're not pulling it crooked, but you're getting it good and tight. You're gonna make some of these for your new apartment. Oh, good, I would love to see them. I would love to see them. Will you please show them to me when you get done? What, what kind of fabrics would you put in there? Or, or would you embroider it, or what would you do? Because, or do, em, embroider or do embroidery is what I'm trying to say. Because I am so obsessed with embroidery. Like, I love Mexican dresses. I love all that kind of stuff. And um, I saw the coolest, I'll have to, I'm going to post it for y'all. The coolest um, Mexican embroidered cake. I mean, it wasn't, obviously it wasn't, um, it was edible. So it wasn't yarn or anything. But it was um, the cutest thing I've ever seen. It was made with icing, but it looked like a Mexican dress, basically. Okay, I'm getting it tight. You want to hear a drum? It's not quite tight enough. You want to hear a tight drum. But it, but these wooden ones are so hard to keep um, from sliding. So I'm going to tighten it a little bit more. And that will help with that. It should. What are you doing? One well, my doggies was in here. Okay. See, I'll, I don't know. You probably can't tell. But when I was pulling it, when I was pulling it in, it was pulling it all over here. So it's thicker over here now. Because I didn't have the hoop very tight. So now I've got to pull it kind of this way because I won't have enough as, as, as much as I need <laughs> to roll over and glue down. I want to make sure I have enough room for that. Okay. I think I feel pretty good about this. It's better. Okay, going to use my little glue gun. And fold this down. Isn't that, isn't that easy? So, I wonder how much fabric you need to buy for this. You just need the, you know, the width of the hoop. And a lot of places you can buy, even by the inch. I worked at Hancock Fabrics when I was um, in high school. Of course, they they went out of business, but uh, we've I've noticed on uh, Michael's website that they're selling Hancock Fabrics, which is really interesting. But... A notification hang on okay anyway um, I used to work there and we sold by the inch and I mean people would buy three inches and that is really hard to cut <laughs> really hard to cut three inches so I don't know I think an eighth of a yard is uh, the smallest amount you should cut but if you're buying fabric it's kind of nice isn't it <laughs> so uh, of course, I don't have my measuring stick with me, but whatever your hoop is, let's see if this is, if it's on here, whatever your hoop size is. Okay, this is a 10 inch, so you wanna buy, I would probably buy, I don't think, I think a third of a yard would not be big enough for a 10 inch because you want an inch over here and then it's gonna take up this much space here. Does that make sense? Are y'all math people? Probably buy a little bit more. I'd probably buy a third of a yard just to be sure for a 10 inch to be careful with it. Um, and then like this one, I guess this is probably a 12 inch or something. So I would buy probably a half a yard for that. You can always take your hoops in when you're buying fabric. It might make more sense to you because you'll be able to pick out like the patterns you want. And sometimes it's easier to see what it's gonna look like spread out like that. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing right now? Besides watching this. Okay, if you just join me, I'm embellishing embroidery hoops to hang up in my sewing room. So far I have this one, this one, this one, punch needle one. So we'll see how it all comes together when I hang it on the wall. But that one's finished. I'm gonna go ahead and um, do another pattern so you can 
see what else I do. Put these down here so you can see them better while I'm working. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is one this size. This is a, I'm gonna guess, oh, it's a seven inch, seven inch. You wanna learn to punch needle? It is so fun. I wish you lived close to me and we could punch needle together. But yeah, it is really, really fun. I actually have a class on how to do it on, um, on my Facebook page. If you scroll down, it has the link to it. So it's, it's so fun. You can watch a preview to see if it's something. Thank you, Cassandra. All right, so here, here's this. Um, I feel like there's something that I'm missing right now. I don't need this anymore. Okay, y'all, I have a teenager. I've mentioned before, she's 15. I made her a punch needle project that matches her room with her initials when she don't want it. She don't, does anybody know anybody with these initials? <laughs> she didn't want it. She didn't care. Just like I didn't want the clothes my mom made for me. Need to find material for Harry Potter and Doctor Who. Oh, yeah. Catherine, that's a great idea. Ask permission first. If they, I don't know how old they are, but my daughter didn't want my punch needle. Look at this, isn't it? I think it's adorable. It's, um, it's piled high, you know? It's dimensional and all. How fun would that be to give us a gift? I think a baby gift would be cute. Someone who's just having a baby and um, a cute baby gift. And this wouldn't really take that long because I'm not feeling in the background. The background is what takes forever. So um, this you could do this. You could do this for a baby shower. It's just totally, I have a baby shower to go to, so I'm trying to think. I don't know the baby's colors or anything, but a girl would be cute for her. I guess a boy if you did um, not cursive and you just did kind of like straight. So, should I hang this in my sewing room since she doesn't like it? I might have to. <laughs> okay, now I just I need to decide which fabric I want to do for this one. Do y'all feel like it's hard to see? Is it dark? Or can you see okay? I, I think it might be my phone. I mean, I know what I mean. <laughs> okay, this fabric. Let's see if it's the right size for this hoop. These are some little retro dress things. Okay, so this one I'm gonna have to really think about because I'm gonna cut off some heads if I, let me see, I'm gonna try something. This is a new tripod and it's really cool, but I don't know how to use it yet. You can see me good, okay. I want you to see the fabric too. Okay, look at it. I don't know, I think I need a bigger hoop for this one because I can either center one lady and not get much of the others or yeah, I wanna see, I could do it like that, but I'm gonna cut her off, that's awkward. All right, let me try this hoop. <clears throat> yeah, don't you think that's much better? You can see more, more of the pattern. Let me open it up here. Let's see, what do you think? Better, I wish this girl was down here. I love the pink and I love the little ruffly um, so really, I'm going to have to go. And I don't want to see that lady twice. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. Yeah, I really want this lady right here. Okay, I think that's going to work. That's probably going to be the best. You think of even bigger hoop? or Oh, you're just saying this hoop. I think that's the biggest. Yeah, that's perfect because this is going to hang over. This is just the right amount of fabric that I bought here. I think this is a third of a yard. What fabrics would y'all put in hoops? What, what do you like? What would be fun to have? Harry Potter was fun, Doctor Who, that sounded fun. I'm gonna iron this real quick. Um, because if you think about, I mean, if you if you had a little boy that loved Thomas the Train or um, Tank or Train, gosh, it's been so long, I don't even know what it's called anymore. Um, we Back when I kids, it was Blue's Clues and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so I guess we don't, I don't see that much anymore. I used to be mesmerized by that show. But, I mean, your imagination could just go wild. Whatever you um, like would be so cute. Okay. 
Here we go. Move this light real quick. Yeah! You scared me! Okay, my daughter likes to scare me. Why do you do that? Hi. You want to come say hi? <laughs> All right. Is that better? You see better? Okay, so my daughter, she loves to scare me. And she doesn't even do it on purpose, but she thinks it's hilarious when she does do it. But I'm like one of those people, if I'm concentrating and someone walks into a room, I'm just flip out. I'm just like, ah! So I scare them worse than I'm scared. But, oh my gosh, my husband, he's, well, both of them, they, they get scared. But, um, <laughs> you do, Catherine? Um, so, my husband will come around the corner now and he'll be like, I I'm coming, I'm coming in here. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, I'm glad you told me. But if someone's standing behind me, um, watching or waiting or whatever, and I feel something behind me, I'm like, oh, bye, Catherine. I'm glad that you were on here. And yeah, catch the replay because hopefully you'll see something looking good at the end. <laughs> All right. Let's see. That looks pretty good and centered, I think. I want that lady though. See, keep that in mind too. If you're at the fabric store and you're having it cut, I would have bought a bigger amount. Oh, more. I would buy more because she's cute. I do have more fabric that I... No, she's cut off, period. I can't do anything with her. All right, so this is going to work, and I'm going to be happy with it. I don't want to wrap around too much because it gets bulky back there, so I'm just cutting off about an inch. So, um, a couple days ago, my daughter, she's doing her driving now. She's driving me places. It's awesome. But she pulled out of the garage and I was still in the house and she was trying to get me to go. So she called me on the phone. I didn't answer it because I'm like, I'm coming right out. So I go to the door and there is a very, the garage door and there is a very unhappy bird. We've gotten in her space. You have a blessed day too. Anyway, so my daughter's out there in the car watching me flip out, screaming. I don't know why I flip out. I just, I just do. Bugs and birds and all that scare me because it was swooping down. It hit me in the head and I was just, ah! <laughs> she thought it was so funny. So funny. Okay, so I, I think I like where they are. I may twist this just a little. It's just, since I'm right-handed, I just like to do it this way. So I can twist it good. Okay. I'm going to tighten it up. And I'm going to start pulling it. I'm just pulling it straight down right now just to get it lined up. Okay, and then now we're gonna go for drum tight. And I'm gonna, oop, I did the wrong way because I'm used to it. I'm gonna pull it down. I got my hot glue gun ready. Bye, Shorty. You have a great weekend too. Anyway, the bird didn't get me, but it sure was protecting its babies. It's a loose drum. We need it tighter. Let's keep on a rocking. I'm going to tighten this just a little bit more. It loosens so easy. This wood. Hey, doggy, what are you doing? Why are you so excited? Why are they so excited? There's no telling what my daughter's doing with them. What are you like so excited about? Do you talk to your dogs like that, like a baby? Are y'all playing in there? We're having a field day over there. Okay. So 
sorry, I had to get my iPad out so I could see what's going on. Let's see. Okay, I'm just getting my hoop tightened. If you just got on here, I am decorating my sewing room with the rotary hoops and fabric. Look how cute. You know, it's interesting now because a lot of us don't use patterns and um, you can find so many tutorials online, so going and buying patterns is, isn't necessarily the kind of the old way of, of doing it. I know you can still buy patterns, but they don't have as big of a section as they used to for patterns. So when I worked, when I worked at Hancock's, there's a few things that I didn't know when I started, well, a lot of things I didn't know when I first started working there, but um, one time I got in trouble because, I, like I said, I was a teenager, because I did not cut the fabric right. It was plaid. And I just cut it against, you know, we had the little groove. I just cut it on the groove. And the lady was not happy with me. She didn't tell me. She told, I think she told my boss. I can't remember. I was humiliated because no one had ever taught me that. You know, when you're a teen and you're working, um, people have really high expectations for you. And I mean, I have to say, I'm, I'm right there with you on that. Sometimes I'm just like, seriously? You know, you're like, do you know where something is? And they're like... No, I don't, I don't think we have that. But they don't go look and they don't ask and then you go find it later. It's frustrating, but as a teenager, I just remember you just don't know what you don't know. <laughs> I'm quoting Jennifer Allwood. Um, and so just have grace with them, give them grace because they're just learning. And and um, so what I try to do now is, well, you might, do you mind going and asking somebody? And they're like, oh no, I don't mind. But they just don't think about that kind of stuff sometimes when they're first going to work. So I just try to put myself in those shoes of when I worked and I got in trouble for things I was just ignorant about. I had no idea. And, um, but I did get frustrated sometimes because I'm like, you don't care and you don't want to help me. <laughs> You're just here for the money. But I've been there. I have been there. So who's in here? Who's watching? Oh my gosh, I've already been on here an hour. How does that happen? Gotta make sure I don't miss getting ready for my lunch date with my daughter and then my doctor's appointment. Oh! I'm working with a cool temp glue gun. So I'm not burning myself. Y'all sure are quiet. Quiet today. I'm not even holding my tongue funny to concentrate. This is so easy to do. <laughs> I talked about that in my last live when I was doing calligraphy. Um, I was like holding my tongue a certain way because I was trying to concentrate. And, you know, some people were saying, well, I bought mine and... If you put mascara on, it's really hard to do it. Can you do it without opening your mouth? I just, I guarantee you, you probably can't. Okay, so there's another one. I cannot wait to put these on the wall. I have the tiniest little bittiest one. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. But I don't know what I put in there. You know what would be so cute in there? If I did a little embroidery something. Oh, I might have to do that. We'll see. That would be so cute and not overwhelming because it's so little. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I've done today. I've done this hoop, this hoop. This one I still need to glue down. I'm gonna do that in a minute. 
this one, this one. <laughs> so I can't wait to see them on the wall. I'm gonna go ahead and go now and get ready. And I just wanted to uh, pop on and show you what I was doing. Let me say goodbye with my, I don't want you to see my room yet because it's not, it's not clean yet. It's not ready to go for people to see. But I just wanted to um, tell y'all to have a great Friday, great weekend. And um, I'll, just, I'll post pictures later of how everything turns out. Thank you for spending your time with me. I appreciate it. Y'all have a blessed weekend.